Alright, a lot of fighting expected to happen now. But they're starting to finish their turn. But as long as Melan is uh, still moving, I'm not going to do a goddamn thing. There's too many armies moving about, so I need to basically carefully see where I'm. What, I, what the hell I'm getting into? Grautar the Vile, Draconia level 20. It's a uh, pretty clear uh, that's an undead creature. These might be annoying to fight face with an undead army because they can take control of my undead enemies too. Right, everyone's moved. Random invading army of no consequence really though. And kill some independents, and there's probably now a random group of melodies controlled units somewhere here. Defensive spell for this, so if there's an enemy group attacking, they'll be pummeled constantly by a shattered hammer. Mana production has been increased substantially. Great temple. A bit too expensive for us at the moment. Again, I'll consider building new stuff once I have more gold. This could use more troops. Doesn't even need to be all that much. No. I'll make this place... Build the archer upgrades here. And they can produce some archers, we can spread them around as needed. Again, could use a little bit of extra defenses, but... Um, Too poor, really. Dread Reaper, yeah. I think we want to get access to Dread Reaper, whatever that is. It's Dread Reapers have been in these games before. Your units get Devout Slayer and Support Slayer. Okay, that sounds very good. Uh, it's a strategic spell. Still, we could take it. There aren't really Devout here, but. Uh, there are a lot of support creatures. Although... I'd like to see what a Dread Reaper is. That's why it is nothing special. It has a good strong attack, no physical damage. Invoke death, life drain. Energy drain, here's some void implosion. A lot of physical resistance. A 
Upon destruction, this unit implodes in a black void, dealing uh, cold, blight, and holy damage to all adjacent units. It's it's a solid unit. It has a weakness in hit points. It wouldn't be that hard to actually kill. It that's probably why it has strong physical protections. So it has a couple of weaknesses. Three elemental weaknesses: fire, spirit, and uh, electricity. If you can do any of those, this is not a uh, all that uh, special of an opponent. But if you can, you're in trouble. It's Implicate Curse, Exploit Despair, Necromantic Aura, Path to Decay, and a ton of hit points at every level up. So, nothing special when you summon it, but you don't need a lot of level ups before it becomes a huge pain to ass to deal with. Okay, this looks like a big city, so we'll aim, and aim for that. Heartbreaker, Inflict Curse, Mark Blood Sacrifice for their next battle. This might be their HQ. And this is their way of sending... no. Uh, I thought this was a teleporter. Reflecting for... Right. How in the hell do you send troops from somewhere to the underground areas? There have to be two teleporters somewhere. Right, this is Trixie. We need to kill this army hero. Better now before they start to gather up. I'm just not sure if we should attack the hero first or attack some other guy. Or go for the city. Uh, we barely have the mobility. Thing is, this would probably be fairly good to. Yeah, it has rabbit barrows. Would be much easier to defend against their armies. Automatic repair walls. Resurrection of units and rabbit barrels. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm not gonna hold any anything back in these type of fights anymore. We're gonna burn through a lot of mana in a couple of the next turn, but uh, I don't really see how that matters. So yeah, I'm not sure if chaos rate really is necessary. Especially if we want to take the city. Chaos rift is when you don't give up flying F about what the hell anyone thinks about you. Do we have allies? Well, not technically allies, but uh, we're at peace with some good do-gooder. So if I start to burn these towns to the ground with my mass destruction spells, yeah, there's gonna be a consequence to that. I'm not sure if I want to pay the price. 
Right, we need to deal extra damage through some means though. We still have the regeneration ability. Also, we are under attack here as long as we're outside the walls. So, we might have to think of something. Be under constant attacks. Who do we want to kill? The matriarch is the best one. He returned to favor. Skin of oil. I don't think I have any particular buffs though. So it shouldn't matter too much. Right, I'm aiming for this wall. We'll have our fight in there. I, I don't think I can do real damage with the lightning storm, but what I am doing is triggering their special abilities and uh, uh, just wasting magic trying to get rid of it. I'm being, uh, being crippled. I get rid of it. Then we remove the brake control. I think I have that. I do not want to go on the wall with this one. We probably don't have a huge amount of chances to cast anything after this, so... That needs to die. The despair could be absolutely crazy.
enemy stun so it won't be doing a goddamn thing. Also pretty sure the Deathbringer probably should be going up there too. With two guys up there, they're gonna have a, a lot harder time actually overwhelming my defenses. Get through the wall the next turn. I eat the corpse. I don't want to though. To be in a defensive position against you losers. What exactly can you do? Really important that that one dies. the city. The rabbits aren't too bad, but uh, there's a limit how much I can tank them. But yeah, this is a nightmare for them too. They're on the bird, I guess. So every time they attack me, they risk getting on my control. So yeah, now uh, we have Google Nagas here. Our numbers just keep increasing. I'd like to Naga if I can. I get I mean the Matriarch. It's a very good unit. Same time I, I don't overly care.
Yeah, we have a couple of mega units that can stay and act as defenders in this place. Is that it? This is a weird situation, how you basically... Undead versus undead are in a terrible situation when fighting against each other. You can't effectively do that. Both sides are going to be leading their own units against the other without having a proper fight. You have to be very careful how, what, what exactly do you get into there. It's already on that city. Might as well absorb it. Half the city. Okay. Still, might as well absorb it. This guy does the same thing that I do. And he's a good fighter, so he can't be easily taken care of. He has control on it. Does he have the... I don't think he has the same ability. So he has to has to actively use it on a single target. Oh, that's a teleporter. So way to get back to the beginning or underground. So controlling this city is immensely important to the defense of the subterranean cities. have an option here. Uh, we do have an option. We are hoping they'll start to fight. If not, we'll have to push the issue. Uh, actually, I'd like to push it now if possible. Doesn't look like that bad of a fight. They have one good unit, two flying. They're, they're not really good, they're just annoying because they're fine. And I don't think... Do they even have uh, range attacks? No. But this sprinting means that the, the fire elemental is almost impossible to block. Frozen. Mm -mm, for shame. Good percentages. Cannot be effective. Okay, what exactly do I want? The Viper and Stone have a fire attack, or uh, at least I can attack them without them being able to hit back. Probably kill the Viper. 
but that's not the main problem. 20 is 31 points of damage, retaliation. Holy shit. Yeah, whip the elemental. Success is still webbed, it just doesn't make it look like it is. Level ups gold medal rank, tireless, silver medal, silver medal. Okay, two more fire dragons, three draconians. This is plus one level up to our army stack. It would certainly help. This this army stack would be immensely powerful after that. Three champions and two gold medalists. We just got a level up for the hero, so uh, it's a lot of experience with the game. Uh, I'll actually sit on the points, and think about what we really want. Make the choice on the next turn though. Don't want to pass up this opportunity. We can attack with it with two armies. Uh, we fly some units there. Maybe with some a couple of extra units. But uh, 14 units at maximum. Definitely keep this formation for now. I doubt they'll leave this to hunt down anything, otherwise they would make their reward vulnerable. The worst possible opponent for me. We could build additional fortresses somewhere. Not sure it would be worth it. So it would be fairly tough to actually keep under control of this stage.
We could summon hell hounds. Hell hound would be a sacrificial unit whose point is to take the initial fire breaks and a lot of those lines. We're definitely doing the mass summon spell in it, but even then we need something extra. A lot of things happening now. Melanie's sister, but fewer things than I anticipated, though. Okay, there's an enemy, yeah. Wotar the Vile. He has a decent army. A lot of flyers too. Uh, do you have stunning attacks? No. But they have stunning touch. What being a lot of range combat power. Not to be taken lightly. Um, is killing random losers uh, in the middle of nowhere. All units gained lucky, and all units that were already lucky gained very lucky. So this is going to be a nightmare to fight. Ah, shit. Declined my al alliance proposal again. I'm gonna stop proposing that. I'm just gonna run it to the ground too if we need to fight after we get the limitless. What is exactly our goal here? Defeat Carl is the secondary one. But Sundrin must survive, defeat Warlock, defeat Melanis. Lama survives and he must survive. Carl is a secondary objective. You don't have to kill him. Okay, their army here went south, so this should be relatively non protected. At the same time, all of their main forces are now here. I sort of want as many as possible to be in this fight. I want to get them all at the same time. This is not their capital. Neither is this. This is an important city. It's High Elf Metropolis. Is it even an undead city? I think it is. Yes. Very likely defeat. Prismatic Spire pulls down a mighty beam of cosmic energy from the stars above onto the enemy. Deals a metric ton of damage to a random enemy unit each combat round. Enemies behind the sea walls cannot be targeted. Yeah, this is a. Uh... Hopefully, the summoned creatures will act as decoys for the prismatic spray or whatever. Prismatic spire. We need to get that going immediately. Uh, we are also pushing to the walls very quickly. Probably somewhere there.
They might try to disable it immediately. How much casting power do you have? Zero. So they're not gonna try to disable it. We're lucky these ones will get hit by the cosmic spire. Okay. Everyone has inflict curse and a guard breaker. Good. won't last forever and it's not gonna last for the entire fight. So we'll have to do something useful quickly. More or less they'll delay us, uh, hopefully, or then enough that we'll get inside the speakers or protect the speech fire. And we resurrect them. Yeah, he made a caliper, right? The positive side there, they, for them, they're getting a lot of free experience out of these guys. Blast him with a spell. These are good targets, we do have to see after the Earl go past them. I could curse them, but I don't think it's worth it. They're so weak that it's better to do damage. Alright, what else? I can heal everyone. I can do two heals or protections. So you are the one that actually can do something. Fireball, maybe? I 
They very much like to get rid of some of their reanimators or long bowmen. I cast pretty much anything, I can't use the healing essence anymore. But at the same time, I think we want to get something done. Have you already healed? No. There's quite a lot of being reanimators who haven't used the heal yet. I could basically kill the ghoul night watch. Guaranteed kill. I want to make sure I've actually moved all the units. Hard to say with the new units being summoned constantly. Reanimators are using their resurrection spells. At least he used his invoke death on a shitty summon instead of some of my heroes or other useful units. what I should do with the spiders really. Should I try to web people or should I just attack? I mean, if I web someone it's gonna achieve anything, no. If I wait it's not gonna achieve anything. So maybe strike something and leave it at that. Lucky, so you achieve no, no goddamn thing. I'm sure I want to go there. So we need as many guys on the walls as possible, as quickly as possible. So I guess we'll have to go.
much I can do. Two extra attack spells. Which definitely aim for kills. Could try to get their hero. That's not really the main problem for us. Okay, we need to weaken anything that's here. We can kill the reed serpent. It's a poison spitter. I'll probably heal quite a bit now. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna focus on killing the reanimators at this point. Because they have the despair of Sooner or later that's gonna start hitting and then you're in deep shit. Shocked and stunned. <clears throat> right, we can use Tessa's pathway to go up. See the point of feeding kills to the guys on the wall here. Might as well try to go in where there's an actual uh, access path. Okay, last spell. We could cripple the hero they have. He is trouble. Ah, no, we can't do a goddamn thing. Okay, try to kill something. We wounded quite a few people here. I think we can kill anyone. Put kill on the night watch, but we don't really care about that. Technically we could kill that reanimator if we get lucky. Well, they get lucky. I might have said before that I hate the lucky. It's much more preferable if you have a predictable situation. The dice rolls as ruins everything. Okay, this is interesting. He brought his main hero to the front line. Also, his uh, elementals here are going to kill that spider, so they're not going to even bother being close with my main force. So we have, uh, I think, an uh, opportunity that kills the Yeah, they're just focusing on getting catamarans up.
They're positioned all over the place now. Just running after these little trick monkeys. Right, you. He has quite a lot of uh, abilities to lift too. I could probably stun his ass. I have something useful, not particularly. It's all about the abilities. I would kill the night watch. is extremely risky with so many enemies. Undead Slayer. Yeah, that'll work. Lucky or not, you start to feel that one. Right, we can definitely get the troll in, so that can act a little bit of a block. Damage is relevant. Might be able to dazzle him. He couldn't retaliate. Hopefully we'll get some uh, spawns in a good location. This is gonna otherwise be fairly worthless spell. That's good. That is very good. Perfect. It'll attract a lot of attention. Yeah, they'll heal the hero because what else can they do? But it'll also mean their reanimators are not going to be useful. to the lightning strike. Quite like this, can't get through without a a different type of spell selection for the palace. But we need to make room for new units to come through. Probably can't get the Lich now. Holy shit, the Invoke Death has a cooldown, it's not once per battle of bloody. Stop. 
done. Done. There we go. I want to make sure he can move me over here. To make a little bit of room. Not sure what we should shoot. I want to get rid of the reanimators and the witch. Stun, stun. Don't have to worry about them. <laughs> Lucky son of a bitch. You. What else can you say about that? I could have. He should have been dead multiple times already. Can you whip his ass? Doesn't matter. He'll just block my path. Yeah, this one did not go our way. I'm hoping some of them will actually let us hear us. Not much I can do. Hmm. Can teleport here though. No way I can kill that one. But I might be able to act as a distraction for these in their trolls time to do whatever they want to do. Also are gonna disappear soon. I'm gonna turn her to Yeah, they're gonna ignore everything but the trolls. Can't really blame them. I need to heal the trolls, their regeneration won't cover things anymore. At the same time, they didn't attack with, every, with everything. They could have probably gone into trolls if they were pushed it with everything they got. Now they're gonna lose their hero. Yeah, this will end in one turn, so. We need to charge with everything we've got, otherwise we can't achieve the car. This is actually a better spell in my opinion than when you don't fight in an area like this. It's just too random where the units appear and they're they're not good enough to handle bad placement. With Chaos Rift you get usually what tier three units. They're so quite often they're flying units and things like that, so it doesn't matter that much where they get positioned.
I could probably protect the trolls effectively. I've got to do something about them. Red Spider Baby is also gonna disappear, so make your whatever counts. You play the longbowman out of fight. Yes, thank you very much. He'll resurrect in two turns. Why exactly did I come here? I should be healing the trolls, but I'm not sure if I want to. If I don't, I can do stunning attack on what? That one I can probably play the part of the fight. Alternatively, you can do it. We can use you to heal the trolls. It's a good enough for compromise. Range stun attacks are too valuable to waste if we don't have to. Yeah, we can't do it with the elementals this time. You lucky son of a bitch. Double lucky son of a bitch. So, what the hell can you do about that? Nothing. We're going to lose all the summon creatures now. the re -end. Yeah, the spell ended. Animators are a constant pain in the ass. Not sure what happened there. I guess the bell exploded. Problem is the assassin pretty much went there with him. Hero is by far the best unit to attack the elementals. If 
best unit to attack everything. Can't heal anything here anyway. Wait, who the hell is attacking me here? Nothing. No one. I can only get a single attack in... The Reed Serpent... Okay, I have two units that can act. Three, but you can't do a goddamn thing. I could try to save the assassins. What would I really achieve? We need to give it an effort at least. Fight against the Night Watch or not? When a Mark unit dies, all friendly units are healed by 10. Ooh. That's interesting. We should have used that a bit sooner. We have to use this a lot sooner. Okay, the assassins will die, but they'll heal up the rest, making us a uh, easier time to wrap things up. Nightwatch will kill the assassins. Lost soul, undying one. Okay, how many times does that <clears throat> son of a bitch is wrecked? Lucky, 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 lucky. Why the fuck can't you attack? You need abilities are disabled. Why? Days. the units we have with the spell stuff. So this spell might still be able to be very very useful to us. Kill the reed serpent if you can't do anything else. 
Nice. What a goddamn mess. And he's alive again. they do, we just need to keep attacking and taking away their um, retaliation strikes. Okay, so the spell probably saved our ass here. Someone spelled cart to complain about it, and it's still protecting us now. Didn't protect from all the casualties, but we got the job done. This is probably a massively crippling blow to the... What was it? Carl the Lich? Fire bro. Nice little fight. Your vile ally is already defeated, Witch. I will be coming for you. Carl was nothing. A tool. Blunt, but sometimes useful. He will not be missed. This just means it's time for me to raise a bigger army. You will see. In the end, you two are nothing. Did I get the loot? Oh, he's lost. An undertapping. Where was it? Yay, and there was much rejoicing. Absorb. Probably a highly upgraded city. Prismatic Spire alone makes it a lot more easier to de defe uh, defend than normal. And since this is a high elf city, we can do archers, longbowmen. They already have some experience. <sighs> They're a nightmare to try to attack at these uh, high, high elf cities. Okay, who do we have here? Sack of crap. Go pick it up. 
All the black wands. Friendly beggar shoes. Bringer goodwill. All units in the hero's army gain volunteer. Units with volunteer require less of High morale, the defense, armor's hat. Nothing particularly interesting, but we don't have boots yet, so I'll take those. Right, nothing particularly interesting. Someone missing a hat. Sundren of House in Yark is missing quite a bit. Right, we do have Sundren close by, so we could reinforce this group immediately. I don't think we should stay here and uh, worry about anything. Uh, Sundren also is going to do well with high elves. That's also not really a problem. We are—we have the frontline fighter type units fairly well in hand. I need something else. Do you evolve in something better? No. We lost an assassin, we can easily replace it with an assassin. Maybe a succubus. We just need two units. And you will go to the city itself. Right. Important to have a plan at least. Not sure if things will actually go our way, but whatever. And I don't know if we should wait here or not. This is a actually fairly defensible position. So I don't think I want to move here out of here yet. Want to come after us? Let them come after us. If not, we'll uh, strike them when they're in a more vulnerable position. Uh, somewhat interested in the guard tower. What do they have? They have melee. Uh, they have swarm archers. Go pass. Siren City. Uh, the st statue is probably plus one, plus one level up to everyone in the army. I'm not sending any heroes here, so this group is just good as as good as. Uh, these guys will not initiate the fight here, which is perfect for me. They might if I go right next to them. Seems to be a chill coming up from this place. That's a plus one level up, I think. Similar to this statue.
These units will not do well against fire units. Might be able to tank the damage. Actually, how is your fire resistance? 60. Might be a good opportunity to get rid of them. Because they could handle the retaliation strikes maybe a little bit better, so we could drain the enemies out of attacks. That is that is what they would be useful for. Mm, we'll see, we'll give him a chance to attack us. Take a peek what's to the right of us. I'm guessing the left is where we need to go. But where is this uh, cold, seeming cold coming from? Also, I'm not sure what that is on the ground there. Looks suspicious as all hell. Never seen any anything like that anywhere else. I'm guessing it's another one our army is popping up behind you when you go there. We have a little bit of cash, but I'm not interested in using it now. Potentially big fight on this turn switch. What are you going to do, Melanis? You have an army of three stacks right next to my city. Retreat. She's chickening out. I don't blame her, I was pretty confident that I would win if she attacks. We had an army that would be better suited for her defense. Alright, what exactly are we gonna do here? Troops. Probably should take a reanimator. We have a lot of undead. But do we want a reanimator or a halfling blue brother? Blue brothers could put up the living units too. And maybe uh, do we have a uh, jesters for quite? We'll produce those and see what the situation is after that. Okay, we don't have a huge army here, but it's at least doable army now. Race governance, have things. Nightwatch gets extra boosts. Harvester guilds in halfling cities are 20 gold and 5 mana cheaper guild. Harvester uh, is already cheap. And I, I don't like I have one of these. Unlikely to get all that much more. I'll take unit boosts. Raise governance up. Sworn daughter, daughter is getting the extra life. Goblin irregulars, extra life. All corrupted farms and corrupted springs in dom domains of goblin cities generate 15 gold. Might be one of them. Yeah, 
Yeah, I'm not a fan of the terrain here. up north. Hostile probably belong to this guy. Uh, fighting is gonna be held for the next four turns. Let's do the hardest thing first. This is easily bypassed, so don't have to fight it. This leads to massive casualties. There's no sense in fighting this. It's just a level up. You will die without a doubt if you stay. There's no ifs or buts about that. You cannot be affected by your attack. Well, the dragons went there, so we don't have to worry about them at all. Might give thought to just which which rowing with these troops. I don't want to get into a melee fight with the dragons at the moment. Might not really fully be able to evade it, but uh, it also drag things out just for the sake of dragging things out. It gives the other groups time to do what needs to be done. Cast a beast horde. I'm leaning toward doing that. Again, this is just a level of experience, this entire thing. 
it's it's as meaningless as you can get at this point. Not worth losing anything to get it. Sacrificial units to take the retaliations. Yeah, but hurt a little bit, not too bad. Uh, I think we will attack the dragons at every opportunity. Can't ignore them at all. This is a summon unit. The webbing won't work, but the chance is still 1 in 4, and even if it fails, these retaliation capabilities will be reduced. On the other hand, if it works, it's that's basically it. Attack once and and what? Whipped once, so another webbing probably reduces uh, action points to zero. Petrification might also. means you would need to die though. It's getting a bit crowded here though. Attackers that could attack that one. Couldn't kill it. It's weak. Uh, there's a little chance we could freeze his ass. Chances aren't all that bad either. Works both ways. Okay, you. No chance to use you for this particular purpose. 
your damage is. We could cross fight and chill right now. Oh. Still, if you can. Mm. Have negative movement points. Probably attack these ones. And we're panicking. Shit. I think we're fundamentally in a fairly good place. We just attack the flamer here, not the dragon. The dragon, no, it doesn't matter, it's not gonna spend its retaliations anyway. But the dragonian flamer can't really do much now, and we follow our attack. Anyone want any help? Death Ray would work. Actually, we could weaken him. This is why we have this crab. Hurts, but only hurts. At a single action point, we want to use Hit the breath attack. Fumble doesn't matter at this point. Sixty-four percent chance of getting something done means fail. Well, we have multiple attempts. Fail all the same. You lucky son of a bitch. We hate lucky. Four points of damage needs to be done. Oh, this is a sacrificial unit. So just attack like a madman, please. Certification might work. It did not work. The surprise move thing we tried did not work. But we're a little bit too far away. I still think we can probably force them into a satisfactory situation here. The other one has been attacked a few times already. <clears throat> and 
and we're punished. They, he did not retaliate. I can't kill that one either unless I get really, really, really lucky and I'm gonna get my ass handed to me if I even try. If that son of a bitch wasn't so incredibly lucky, then I think we're going to distract this dragon so the spider. Same time, if I could have attacked that one, I would have killed it. Panic and luck. Those are the things that screwed me over. Still, what's done is done. Can't do anything about it now. hasn't died so it's all still good really Get out of the way want to get the experience. This group is just fine. Mm. Alternatively, we could include the baby spider in this. I, I don't care enough. I'd rather have very extremely high level units of this caliber than uh, the spider there. Yeah, it might turn into a tier 3 unit, but if these units at this level would also be very useful. I think I'll include the Watcher in this group instead of the Crossling White Witch. It's not like it's a terrible unit, it's just it, it's, it's already achieved everything I really want to achieve with it. Not but I could say the same thing about pretty much anything. This, on the other hand, needs gold, gold rank. So, who wants to give up a level up? In guide, definitely not. Maybe one of the royal guards. We're not. No. They're increasingly useful the more hit points they have, and champion levels give the, the most hit points. This is also much easier to keep alive if we've had a little bit of extra hit points. So may, maybe give up the. 
far away are you from the level up? Uh, fairly close. And it's inflict days. That's why we ah fuck it, just take the goddamn thing and we can move on. Ten points. Yeah, uh, the summon animals is fine, but I think we need to think our rethink our options. It's not that great in a lot of situations. We need something a little bit, little bit more. Under Slayer is probably a good one, but maybe a bo boost or damage spell. A lot of this won't work on Undead though. So. We're not really that big on melee combat. Call Strike, use Shock Bolts, use special abilities to disable them. I think our own survivability might be a big thing next. Light protection. Yeah, army. Army resistances, that's a good one. Everyone benefits. Uh, we know there's a shock user at least. Cure disease, I'll take this one. Usually you don't have to use it, but sometimes just there's a huge amount of debuffs that you can't get rid of easily. We might also get extra level ups, so with those I would uh, boost the survivability of the sand health, like hit points and things like that. There's definitely some sort of a statue there. I can't say it's exactly. It's probably not a level up statue though. It's a shrine of some sort. That's a lot of undead. Dread Reaper. It's not an amazing army, but certainly respectful. What are you protecting? Did the level up? It is level up. Fallen Angels. Yeah, there's Pandora's box. Extra casting, a lot of resources. Money, resources. This is where. It going to become questionable do we want to push forward. Also this might be the push forward. It sort of looks like a dead end. Either way, we need some time to heal up. Are you our only healer? <sighs> we probably should take care of this one. 
Naga city of some sort. Probably. Sure. Okay, we'll at least meet them at the border. Let's see what we can do with that. Another neutral area. Independent army. Still, this is a respectable independent army. Let's stick our nose into this. We could get a nice three way going on here. Hans help. Basically, we would use a sacrificial army first. Try to get things done. Because this looks like you have to have a. Unless they are aggressively attacked, you need to have a single stack here to attack against three. So, logic would dictate that you fight it multiple times. A sacrificial group first. Enemy is good enough though that if we do something like summon wild creatures, we'll be hard pressed to get casualties. Total awareness, life drain. Guard breaker, undying, so these will pop back to life. This this is basically like a fairly high level hero. Petrifying scream Tries to pitch by all units caught in the attack for two turns. Elemental machine, undead units are not big. Do you have any kind of weakness? Spirit. So the ban banshees would work fairly well against these. This would be hard to take on in small groups because they drain the life. Uh, our main goal should be to get rid of the healers. Without that they don't heal at all. So every piece of damage we do sticks. And also everyone seems to have total awareness. Cannot be blind. Not everyone. Why do you have high L3 animators have total awareness? I guess. This uh, is starting to look like it's not worth it. I don't see how it could be worth it. We're gonna need banshees anyway. They do the right type of damage. Uh, 
I need is a scout, see what the hell is this? Yeah, this seems much more reasonable, so that's probably where we need to go. Just continues in some way that I can't see. Yeah, I, I'm going to bail on this. It just, it seems, it's slightly curious stuff, but I, I don't see anything good here. Just a lot of fighting that's not probably going to lead into casualties. And what I'm gonna get out of this? Resources that I don't need. Yay. Yeah, let's see if any. Ooh, no, no, no. Uh, we'll have to try to do quick maneuvering here. I'll just end the turn and leave things there. Actually, things might happen. But I want to get next to the neutral city. Hard what he really wants to do here. Uh, we need to play this army out of the fight no matter what. Open borders, one and yeah, sure. Independence killed Han's army. Las El Pado has been absorbed into my empire. But you need you need a healer. Also the prospector is a piece of shit, so get that out of the way for me. We need a healer and two other undead units. What exactly would we need? This is a high elf. Is this a support unit, technically? It can ghoulify things. It is an irregular though, so it's not a proper support unit. We'd have to do a temple. It's probably worth doing though. Total awareness. Yeah, because uh, otherwise. Can we even get a regular heal? Okay, what exactly is the High Elf Storm Sister? Do they have a natural heal ability or not? They do not, so probably doesn't have a heal either. Total awareness and stunning touch though, and it uh, gets stunning attacks when it levels up. But I, I need three army units now. Unicorn riders are fine units. Uh, we'll probably have to... What exactly do we have? Well, since we have undead so mu much, we probably do have to take a uh, reanimator. Mm. Mm, then what? And bone collector is always a slight choice, and um, 
be an archer of some sort. Uh, this guy is never going to see the worst of the fighting, so I don't think it matters too much what we need. What exactly are we not going to there? Right, I didn't want to pick a fight, so I'm not sure if I want to pick a fight either. We might be able to negotiate with this. Big mistake, Empire will fall. Right, right, right. What we really need to do is pick a fight. This is not a bad place to pick a fight. We could clean up the trash here. There's a lot of range attackers. Like pretty much the entire team. Six at, at least. Six, seven. Uh, a range attackers. He would be left with a fairly solid, solid group, but only the initiate would be a range attacker. By the way, I'll leave things here. This is after this, the road should be fairly clear to move into here and against Melanis. Although this is clearly not Melanis. These are mythical sites. That's a mythical site in that. Hard to say about that one. Yeah, this should be our goal. Still, I'm pretty sure I had a. I don't know, Melanis would be here. Or here. This is someone's uh, uh, throne city, so Melanis would be here. That's our goal. And the big baddie would be here. For lack of Isildur. Is there any way to see the historical graphs? I mean, how well is new everyone doing? You can see it after the game, but at that point it doesn't really matter. Alignment neutral. We should go for passive alignment at this point. As long as we keep the alignment neutral, we'll get benefits. We might be able to do good with Tam now because we've taken out an uh, enemy of theirs. That's plus 300. That's more race modifiers than we had before. Worth a try. I, I definitely want to move into an alliance. It's much more secure than anything else. And it has to be. I don't think we can bribe our way into an alliance. So I'm just sending in the proposal. Take it or leave it. Moving toward a more neutral alignment would also help. They probably will not ally if we're all by default. Yeah. I'll have to think about this situation a little bit more carefully. Las Melon. Mukuba. Shadowborn Cash. Shadow Game. This is Shadowborn Cash. 
lot of power 